All right, so uh, everyone talking about the border wall and immigration and Trump and the speech and the rebuttal from the Democrats, and I thought, we have really gotten into the wall yeah. uh, as far as the subject goes. Uh, first things first, um, he changed it from wall to barrier, which mm. I guess he's just trying to make it more palatable to get it sold, or somebody wanted him to change it from wall to to steel barrier. Mm-hmm. Um, the wall's immoral, according to Pelosi and most of the Democrats. I don't know if a steel barrier's immoral. They haven't really drilled down on if a barrier's immoral, but a wall's definitely immoral. I don't know when the morality part of it started to kick yeah, in. Dictating policy. Um, I feel like I would like the border secure. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll take a wall if that means it helps. I s- tend to think parts of the wall, parts of the barrier. Well, first things first. I'll leave it up to the guys who work the the border. Mm-hmm. If they say we need a wall along this stretch, then you can have a wall along that right. stretch. If they say we don't need a wall along this stretch, mm-hmm. then you don't need a wall along that stretch, or you could do it with drones or whatever. When you say you want the border secure, do you mean secure from like drugs, terrorists, things of that nature, or like from illegal immigration? Because I feel like the wall would... D- defeat one of those things and not the other. Well, we've had we, guests. T- yeah, we talked to whoever yes. was on the show that's, recently. That's like, not how it tunnels, works. They're man. Don't worry about the wall. Wall's not going to do shit. And that a lot of the drugs actually come in the right way, right no, through the No, the trucks guards. is what they said. The yeah. trucks yeah. will bring in the walls. I would like all the above. I don't like illegal immigration. Well, once you have illegal immigration, then it's kind of hard to tell who's illegally immigrating. Mm. Uh, you know, soon to be hardworking nannies or yeah, Al Qaeda so sleeper cells. Parse like, out one from the other, right? So every single person crossing the line. I would like, I'd like to treat it like any, you know, I, I have stadiums, mm-hmm. stadiums, probably concert venues and stadiums probably have a certain amount of people who sneak in or get in or watch you know mm-hmm. they're watching manhattan transfer for free you know because they had a thing where they could be able to slide yeah, in whatever in. but i'm also sure that they'd like as little of that as humanly possible yeah. they probably aren't doing a morality judgment on there to see people seeing the lakers right. or seeing manhattan transfer or seeing uh, menudo or or whomever but they probably just want to know that everyone who's coming in is accounted for mm-hmm. and we put their purse through the metal detector as or much their, as their backpack. Possible, yeah. Yes, as much as you can do. Right. So I would like the border to be as regulated as possible, which doesn't mean people don't get to come through the border. I've been back and forth to Tijuana uh, quite a few times in my youth. Uh, Cactus Matt- spine sticking out of you? Matt, that was somebody else. <laughs> Matt, the uh, porcelain punisher, has done it uh, many times as well. I like the idea of traveling in between here and Mexico and, and vice versa. But I like the idea of also knowing everybody and everything, including as much as we can with drugs and tunnels and everything else. The, the notion that a, a wall never stopped anyone, I was uh, passing by. It was funny, this power plant that's on the corner a hundred yards from where we are mm. and it's fortified. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I was just like sitting at the signal and I was like thinking a wall never stopped anyone from doing anything. And I remember just looking at this wall with this <laughs> power plant. I guess they want, don't want people fucking around with the transformers. So they put a wall on it and then they put some barbed wire yeah, on top of it. Pretty effective, people, probably. people don't fuck around with the transformers. I'm guessing I told uh, Dylan, go over there and go get in the power plant. And he said, no. And I said, why not? And I said, because there's a wall. And he can't. Okay. So I, the notion of a wall not working, I'm not signed off on. There's a notion of a wall being built for sort of symbolic mm-hmm. Uh, you know, purposes where we're going to build a wall and we're going right. to show those Mexicans. I'm not down with that. Um, so my feeling is, is talk to guys who work on the border, who have an expertise in this field, give them the wall where they need the wall and give them whatever else they need, wherever else. When it comes to checking trucks, we got to do all that. This stuff about like, um, going, that's the power plant right next to us. Maybe they put barbed wire, oh no, the barbed wire's up on it. It's uh, there, yeah. It's pretty huh. Fort Fort Knoxy, and I think everyone who lives in the community agrees that well, we don't want people to have easy access to our power grid, so we'll put a wall around it. Fine. Walls work just fine. Um, 
most things that don't work go away, and walls have been around for a while. As far as the cost, I was just thinking about this, um, the 5.4 million bucks. Now, the thing about Pelosi's, Pelosi's billion, like, right? yeah. billion, yeah. sorry. The, the thing about Pelosi, she's like, the wall's immoral, and it's too expensive, and it doesn't work. And I'm like, all right, make the immoral argument, but then don't make the too expensive, right. it doesn't work one. Just make the immoral one, or make the too expensive, it doesn't work. Uh, it does work. As far as too expensive. firing ex- buckshot. As far as too expensive, I said, how much is that goddamn bullet train we're building cost? <laughs> Well, the, the bullet, necessary bullet the train. necessary bullet train in uh, California Christ. in 08, it started at thirty nine billion. <laughs> That's Brown. That's our Governor Brown, Moving. very progressive Governor Brown. So, in terms of saving money or you know being really tight with the purse strings, mm-hmm. where thirty nine billion is where the first estimate was in 08. 2016, it increased to sixty four mm-hmm. billion, and two thousand and 18, it increased to 77 billion, and it's expected to go to 100 billion. No. So if you're talking about price, I think 5 billion versus 100 billion. Uh, my, I, I'm sure the wall will keep going up in uh, price too. Yeah. It's not getting to 100 billion. I'm just saying if you're talking about money, but you're we- you're you're footing the bill yeah. to a fucking train that goes nowhere. Then I'd say maybe that's not your greatest leg to stand on, the actual financial part of it. I just thought for fun, and these are the two numbers that made me laugh, uh, the wall was supposed to be like 5.7 or 5 and change. For some reason, 5.7 doesn't sound right. But uh, anyway, 5.7. I said to Max Pata, find out how much we've spent on the bullet train. By the way, we've not laid any track yet. I was going to say, there's nothing. There's nothing laid. 5. Point five on the bullet train. Five hundred billion dollars. Billion. Oh my god. What's that on? Like research? <laughs> like uh, they're, they're driving a, up and down to Chico and back. For yeah. it. I, I don't know, but we've already done five on the wow, train that doesn't crazy. exist, so it can't really be about finances, or you can't be so miserly. Governor Brown in California, <laughs> that you're so against this thing. Well, and you know, he there was talk of uh, Trump saying, and I didn't hear it firsthand. So, but I, that he said he's going to withhold funding to California and you know wildfire cleanup and victims and all that if we don't you know get this wall figured out. And you're like, hey, that's inhumane and disgusting. But you know what else is inhumane and disgusting? Five billion dollars on a train that's not built that mm. that could go to wildfire prevention true. and oh. the victims of wildfires. And we're over five, and there's not a foot of track laid yet either way anyway i haven't really weighed in on it i like walls walls are effective i don't care about the message it sends i'm not really interested in the emotional Mm -hmm. message the wall sends any more than i'm worried about the emotional message that any wall sends at any time whether it's a facility Mm -hmm. or school or a power plant or border my the message is um Just like this power plant, there are gates, just like Fort Knox or the White House or any place. There's a gate. And if you want entry into the power plant, then you have to go to the gate and you have to ring the buzzer and you have to show someone a credential and you have to figure it out. And we'll decide. I don't have any problem with that. I don't have any problem with going through security and getting on an airplane. I mean, we're highly fortified wherever we are. So. Uh, the wall, I don't mind. On the other hand, I'm not one of these guys that says we need a continuous wall going all 2,200 miles down the whatever. Break it up. Use technology in some spots. Use use Plug drones and others. Hmm? Plug those holes. Plug the tunnels. That's where the real problems are. They we're talking about working you know, big to small. Oh, yeah. Well, they're going to go. I mean, they'd be stupid because Israel does it. Mm-hmm. They go down. You, you'd be dumb to just go up. Right, you got to go down up. X amount of feet and then... Go up or do whatever Israel does. They have a couple of walls. They seem to be wildly effective. So, fine. I saw World War Z, man. That didn't do shit. (laughs) Uh, That part's fine. The other part where we look for some path for citizenship for folks that are here, that's good. My thing is I don't get why they have to live on the same page, which is secure the border and look for a path. It's not an either or thing. I, my feeling is it's like saying somebody's in your house and then you go, well, we can't secure the deadbolt until we figure out mm-hmm. if that person in the house, like secure the deadbolt and do yeah. that. Do, do it both. Do it simultaneously. That's fine. It's it's clear that there's an agenda on both sides, obviously. Um, but 
I don't, I don't, the part where we're like, we're sending bad vibes by having a secure border. Mm-hmm. I'm not down with that part. I just feel like it, whether it's a wall, I, I don't expect to, to float into Canada mm-hmm. at any time and, and go like, Hey man, what's the beef? Yeah. We've been there. It took forever to get yes, in. Yes. So. It's like, I, or any country. I'm completely fine with every country just going, where are you going? What are you doing? Who are you talking to? We would like to vet you. I, I think that's a pretty basic right that most countries have, and thus the wall, emotionally not interested in. Um, If it's effective, then do it. If it's not effective, then don't do it. But I'm tired of all the sort of vibes the that are swirling yeah. around everything or, all the time or the message like what it sends a bad message like I, what what message it's the message is right. don't come in unless you you're documented right. or you're signed up or you're in line and to your point effective versus ineffective also cost versus um benefit like if it's marginally beneficial but wildly expensive then we got to you know then you gotta think about things whereas if it's the cost justified the expense but yeah, the benefit is just for the expense, you know, go for it. Well, and also in terms of the emotional component or an alarmist component, guess what we haven't talked about or seen in the news in, I don't know, north of a month, weeks and weeks? Oh, uh, the caravan. The caravan. Right here, Rob. Yeah, apparently, uh, you know, like the killer bees, mm. now now it's a non-issue. Yeah. No. Well, they're, 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 in Mex- they're in Tijuana. Like, they're in Mexico. <laughs> they set up shop. Yeah. They did. Yeah, they're basically it's Tijuana's problem to deal with all those those but, people. But over that there. was but wasn't that a big part of the conversation? Oh, at the yeah. Wall? Mm. yeah, yeah, they weren't getting through. <laughs> no, they're both it's scare tactics, fear. I, I real 